What are you willing to do to get what you want? There are countless reality shows on television which show people doing crazy, dangerous, and ruthless things to win the prize. The news is filled with stories of those who go to extreme measures to get what they want. In both the corporate and political sectors, we see ambitious individuals who cast aside their families, health, and morals to achieve a certain position or earn more money than they could possibly spend in a lifetime. Although most of the examples we see and read about describe those who are willing to do or lose anything to gain something that will not last, sadly, I don't see the same passion in those who can gain something that will last eternally. The Apostle Paul had a resume that would rival anyone in the first century, but when he came to know Christ, his attitude toward his status, experience, training, and accomplishments completely changed. In Philippians 3, verses 7 to 8, he writes, But whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. I am both humbled and convicted by his passion and willingness to lay everything aside, not so that he could be more effective for Jesus, but that he might know Christ more. Do we put the Lord first in our lives? Are we willing to give up everything just to have a deeper relationship with our Savior and King? Let's ask God to give us a hunger for him that changes our perspective on things that are dear to us so that by His grace we can lay them down and consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Jesus.